Mina-san konnichiwa. This is David. And Mina. And tonight we are doing a quick review of the RX-78 II Revive. Um, this is the new HG-1144. Um, this is the first of the Gundam 35th Anniversary Revive line. And I am super excited about it. It is majestic. Yes. Now, I'm going to... Um, I have put some stickers on here that were not a part of the kit. Um, so there's that. Sorry. Um, these are from the um, the winter camp or the spring campaign that went on. So um, these stickers are not actually a part of the kit, but I think they're pretty. So, and you know, they're Earth Federation Space Force. So, you know, fitting and everything. Okay. So. This is this is basically the new HG. Um, this is the the new version of the HG, the 35th anniversary version. Um, I am very very fond of it. Of course, it is an RX 78 too. This is not like, you know, spectacularly designed, you know, elaborate gunpla, but this is very solid. It is very very good for what it is. Um, it's the prettiest version of it I've seen. Most certainly. I think that they did a lot to work with the proportions of the RX-78 II. Yeah. Um, it is the the version that I think looks just the, the, the sleekest. Um, I'm actually impressed with this, and I'm not a big fan of that particular model. So, I like it. All right. I'm going to show you... First off, um, here's a couple of the couple of the accessories they do have the normal hand thing where you have to take off the back of the hand um, just like any other HG kit um, but of course I don't really have a problem with that because the only real answer to that so far has been the RG hand which sucks I hate them mm -hmm. um, they're impressive but they don't work <laughs> so okay so first off I'm gonna take a look here at the face if that can mm -hmm. focus yeah, um, yeah, it doesn't really want to focus very well. Sorry about that, people. Um, so the, the yellowish green eyes, they look good. They look solid. Um, they even have a nice, like, reflective backing piece to make them more. So, yeah, there we go. Okay. And we have our other thing here. So here we go. Here's our shield. And it is a lovely shield. Um, has the nice little toggle piece there. It's not quite as elaborate as the MG version of the shield, but it works no. great. It, it actually holds really, really smoothly. Um, and that pops in there um, just fine. And then we have our beam rifle. This is, you know, it's a beam <laughs> rifle. It's nothing spectacular. Um, I'm going to build a giant weapon for a giant robot. I don't know, it's just, like, just like a really big gun. Yeah. One of the things that I'm impressed with is the beam sabers. On most of the HGRX 78-2s that I've seen, these are really loose and they just pop out. These are actually nice and firm in there. Mm -hmm. And I've even popped them in a number of times already, so that's kind of cool. Um, Okay, so there's some accessories. It also comes with um, a bazooka, um, which clips onto the back, but I'm not going to get that because I'm not even entirely sure where I put it. So, yeah, it, it's it's nothing spectacular. It's just a normal Gundam bazooka. Um, but, um, okay, now let's talk a little bit about articulation. Um, skirts are going to get in the way, but not much at all. As you see there, he can almost do a 90 degree bend with his leg. I mean, in fairness, whose skirt doesn't go flying off if they're yeah. going to split? This is, I think, the first non-RG, non-MG, this is the first HG style RX-78 that can do splits. <laughs> like, um, this stuff is important. You just have to trust it. Well, it is. It is. It's, um, it, it is a really, really articulate kit. Mm. Um, the back skirts don't go back, so its legs will only go back about that far. Mm. I don't really see the need to put them back any further than that, so mm. I don't think that's a problem. But he can kneel, right? Yeah, he can kneel. The front skirt will go up, so it will go up this far. And there you go. It's not going to do like any high kicking or anything, but you can get a, quite a bit of range out of that. <laughs> um, so the, long story short, it is very articulate for an RX-78 too. 
Um, okay, the arms. The arms are jointed in such a way that they actually go up like that. Um, this is a common thing in a lot of modern kits, like your Build Fighters line. Um, but it is, um, it's actually really impressive to see on this kit. What I like to call the Super Shrug. Yeah, yeah, he's very, he, yes. That is the, the Gundam meh. Um, of course, your arms are on ball joints, so they go all the way around. Um, this is very articulate for an HG. Mm. The hands or the arms go all the way up. Um, they are double jointed and fully articulated there. So he can play heads and head and shoulders. Yes, he can do that. Um, and then, uh, so you know, our head it'll go all the way around. So you can do your exorcist. Yeah, so you okay. can do that. Um, a lot of a lot of HG Gunpla don't do that though, so that's that's good. Um, okay, so our waist is jointed. Our waist is jointed. Let me move the arm out of the way there. Waist is jointed so it can actually bend forward like that. Um, and it's ball jointed in the top so it'll go up like that. So you can give him a good kick to the face and you yeah. can really take it. Yeah, or, you know, Char kicking the stomach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, signature um, red comic kick. Or you can put him in Barbie furniture. Yeah. So this is um, this is definitely the most articulate and sleekest HG mm -hmm. RX seventy eight two that the you can find. The colors are vibrant. They're beautiful. Yes, this is this is definitely a great kit. Not only that, I would even go so far as to say because it's it's sturdy. Like I'm pulling on this leg here, it's not popping out. Yeah. Um, this is basically an action figure. Um, this yeah. is this is toy grade. Like, look at that. Okay, so you want to build a kid with a kid, a kit with a kid. Yeah, I'm probably putting about 10 pound pounds of pressure on this okay. right now. Okay, this is the one to go with. Yeah, um, the arms are similarly. How was the build strong? itself? The build went quick. The build was smooth. The build was um, easy. Any annoying parts? Um, God, I no, I don't, I don't really think so. Um. It was actually really, really easy, um, not in a bad way, in a, in a very good way. It's so it's it's also intuitive. Um, usually with these things, um, what you'll get is that you'll get um, that'll be two pieces along the side. Yes, it'll be two pieces that are split. Um, <laughs> it's hard to take well, they're two two pieces that are split down the center. So what you get is this ugly ugly seam down the center right. or you get an ugly seam down the side right. here you do not get that because what this is it's two pieces that snap together and then you have this shielding bit this piece of armor like a greave or whatever they're called yeah that clips on and it's actually going to, to <laughs> go right along the seams that's the panel seam right there so you can even panel line it and then it goes up with the sort of musculature of the leg so it is a seamless kit you know the, he's honestly the closest i've seen to the one one two as yes well. yes absolutely absolutely and even even his shin guards are tight like yeah th this is a great R or hg kit yeah this is um i want to say it was 900 yen right um so it's about seven bucks fifty something like that mm. um it's a great kit. If you have children that want to learn gunpla, and particularly if you have children, oh, it's also a rocker on the um, on the legs. <laughs> so he can kick. Yeah. So you, well, you've got a little bit of range of motion there. Okay. Um, it, it can toggle on its hips. <laughs> um, so that's actually kind of useful for posing and balancing it. And dating. Anyway, so so if you have children and you want them to learn to, pl to build gunpla, this is a great place to start. Not only is it you know the classic, but it's also really really sturdy, really easy to put together. I didn't get frustrated. There were no points where it like you know pinched my my fingers, anything like that. Mm. It's also sturdy, so they can play with it. Yeah. Um, that is one thing that I think is um, lacking from a lot of gun plies that it doesn't really have a lot of playability. You have to take it apart and put it back together to pose it. Um, and they, there's a lot of fragility. But I think this is a toy. Like this is something that you can you can fuck with. Like you can you can beat it around a little bit. And, and it's for 750, nice. if they beat it around for a while and break it, it's not the yeah. end of the world. But in this case, the, the, that's 750, and they're making the coolest toy they'll ever have. Yeah. It's very very cool. So anyway. anyway. I cannot recommend it enough. Mm. Um, it's I, I never thought I'd say that about an RX seventy eight two, but I this do. is great engineering, and there's Dade agreeing with us. Yes. Okay, so 
buy it check it out i love it it's real cheap it's real durable it's it's great engineering and i'm so eager to see what they do with the revive line now yeah um i'm i'm super eager to see the other builds and matane everyone matane.